Hey dolls, I'm Brandy Rose and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I highlight and contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the color medium. If you're my shade or one shade darker or one shade lighter, you would want to use this palette, I would say. And if you're like a few shades darker than me, you may want to go to the dark palette. And if you're more to the pale complexion, you would want to use the fair palette. Let's get into this video so I can show you how I highlight and contour my face. Okay, so first off, I'm going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badescu Cucumber. Everybody loves the rose water one, but I, I personally can't stand the rose water. It smells like flowers and stuff, and I just can't do it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Total Control Drops. I'm going to be blending my foundation all over with the 113 DH Cosmetics Express. Oh, I love them so much for having such a great brand of brushes. By the title of this video, you guys should know, um, today I'm using the Anastasia Cream Palette in the color Medium. And I'm going to be applying my highlight with the V7 DH Cosmetics Brush. And I'm going to, to highlight, I'm going to be using the color Cream. Okay, so instead of going ahead and contouring, I like to just spray my sponge with the Mario Badescu Cucumber Spray and going in and blending my highlight in. Okay, so now that I've done my highlight, I like to use my Maybelline Press My Loose Powder in the color Light 01. This is what I like to bake with. Like, I really love baking with that. So I'm going to just put a little bit in my lid. I don't know which brush this is, but I'm going to use this one and just... And I like to do a little bit, like right here, and just a little bit. Next, I'm going to be using the color Chocolate in Ash Brown. So first, I'm going to go in with Chocolate. Like, using both just gives me a good dimension on my face. Like, I could use both and it wouldn't be, like, too dark or too light. Like, you want to do a subtle contour, you can just use one. But I want to go in... And then I like to contour my nose a little bit. Put it like right in here. I can go ahead and blend it out, but let me hurry up. This is going to take some time. And then I'm going to go in with Ash Brown. The darker contour shade and go at the bottom of my contour. And then I like to. I don't really need to, you know, do that to my um forehead because I don't have a big forehead and I like my forehead how it is like.
All right, so now that I've fully contoured my face with the Anastasia Cream Palette, I like to go and fluff away my um, baking powder. And it gives me a nice little even contour, like it's not too much. It's very nice for my skin tone as well. This is very good for my skin tone. And like if you're similar to me or just a tad bit lighter than me, you can really use this palette. This is the medium. But if you're like super, super dark skin, you may want to use the dark palette. And if you're a lighter, more paler complexion, you would like to use the fair palette. But me personally, I love this one. And I've tried the little color correcting orange color before, but I'm not into color correcting because I don't really have like dark spots or anything on my face like that so I wouldn't really use that that's the only one I really don't use but everything else in this palette I can use all day so right now I'm gonna use my derma blend on top of that and I'm using my Too Faced natural sun bunny bronzer This just gives me a nice little glow. Alright you guys, so that's how I highlight and contour with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And on my lips, so you guys, I am wearing the It Cosmetics um, Lip Flush Stain. I guess it matches your perfect pink shade for your lips. And it is doing amazing. It comes on clear. And then within a few seconds, it turns to this pink perfect color. So I thought this would be good to show you guys with my contour routine because it's not too much and I'm not doing like a big makeup tutorial today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Make sure you subscribe, comment below, tell me what you think and I can't wait to see you again.